Current forecasts predict exponential growth in air travel, with passenger demand expected to double over the next 20 years. Air traffic, which are already experiencing delays due to airspace and airport congestion, would only see their delays increase. The current ATM technology and methods used for coordinating between stakeholders will be insufficient to deal with the future air traffic capacity increases and likely hinder the ability to make progress. The aviation community still relies on the 50-year-old flight plan format and its data exchange framework. The old framework limits the coordination between the actors and creates problems such as a. Flight plans are not automatically updated or maintained and b. All actors involved in ensuring the safe and efficient execution of the flight may not be using the same flight plan. In order to overcome the expected traffic growth while increasing operational efficiencies, ICAO has developed the Trajectory-Based Operations concept with supporting enablers, also known as TBO. The TBO concept aims at bringing the operator to the heart of the system to ensure the safe and efficient execution of a flight. This is achieved by exchanging all flight plan-related information to help the operator build a 4D trajectory reflecting their needs. Simply put, the goal of TBO is to achieve the optimum system outcome with minimal deviations from the user-requested flight trajectory. Working towards TBO, aviation stakeholders will need to address the gaps and limitations of the current ATM system. TBO will improve the ATM operation across the following areas. Utilization of the most accurate 4D trajectory data. Increasing collaboration between ATM stakeholders on trajectory management, tactical decisions, reducing inefficiencies and increasing predictability. In-flight replanning and prioritization will be supported by an automated process. More accurate trajectories will result in delivery of demand that is matched to capacity. Increased collaboration thanks to better information sharing. ATM actors will share information on constraints which affect airspace. These include meteorology, active military areas and air traffic flow or capacity restrictions. Airspace users will create a trajectory based on this shared information to develop and submit a filed flight plan. This will help all actors agree on the best possible trajectory situation. The flight plan process is envisioned to be initiated before the flight departs and then continue throughout the flight as needed. The trajectory will be exchanged between stakeholders using FFICE with a SWIM-compatible exchange format. All flight-related information will be exchanged over a SWIM network. During the flight, the aircraft will share the aircraft trajectory. This information will provide a higher level of synchronization between the three components – AOC, cockpit and ATC. The information will enable the flight crew and ATC to optimize the trajectory while also making changes based on weather or other capacity constraints. TBO is planned to be introduced through various technical enablers. A number of ANSPs are establishing their SWIM connectivity and will utilize SWIM-compliant flight plan exchange formats as enablers. Even though these new concepts have not been mandated by ICAO, the new format is envisioned to replace the out-of-date Flight Plan 2012. The goal is to stimulate implementation of SWIM and TBO through benefits. Although no timeline has been set, Eurocontrol plans to introduce a new flight plan service into their IFPS system in early 2020. And while the FAA continues to work on implementation of a new flight plan format, they are using a new flight information exchange data model for their internal ATM system data exchange. There will most probably not be a single transition date. 
Operators will need to prepare for a mix of the new FPL format and the legacy FPL format. Although a mixed mode will increase the workload for both ANSPs and users, it is envisioned that automation will mitigate the additional increase. Trajectory negotiations will require the airlines to exchange flight plan and constraint information with ATC before departure and during in-flight. This information exchange will include a detailed trajectory containing aircraft performance and weight information, which is well beyond what is currently available in FPL 2012. Airlines will need to update their flight plan and operating systems to benefit from the more detailed information exchange. This is especially important for full TBO implementation. A highly automated and functional flight plan system will be required to minimize the impact on dispatcher workload and maximize the benefit. One of the key functions will be the ability to submit a flight plan earlier than the current 1-3 to three hour standard. This will enable ANSPs and operators to enter into a back-and-forth trajectory negotiation. Ultimately, cockpit connectivity to FOC and ground systems will be required to achieve full TBO. In order to receive trajectory updates from aircraft, enhanced communication capabilities between aircraft and ground-based actors to enable the exchange of information is being pursued. The TBO concept will include dynamic real-time route optimization with a high-level in-flight trajectory management system, changing the process procedures used by dispatchers and pilots. To achieve the benefit from TBO, these key points need to be addressed. Stakeholders, in particular ANSPs, need to prepare for the transition. ANSPs will need to build in sufficient infrastructure capacity if they want to benefit from the additional information made available via SWIM. Accurate flight data with timely and accurate weather, ATM and AIS information should be shared between operators and air traffic for better ATM planning. Improved airspace management should be possible from the timely and more robust information provided via the new information exchange format. Enhancement of the environment should include the flexible use of airspace and user-preferred routings in order to support maximum operator trajectory requirements. Mixed mode operations will need to be limited in order to maximize the benefits. To get from today's infrastructure to TBO, each ICAO region in coordination with airspace users, will need to develop an implementation strategy identifying which critical events will drive their decision about the transition. Global and regional air navigation plans must consider the state of equipage, cost to improve the systems and infrastructures, and the impact this may have on operators, both positively and negatively. In order to minimize the impact, the transition plan should take into account the above and the effect it will have on traffic flows. Accommodating the growing demand while increasing flight efficiency will require a paradigm change in the ATM system. The transition to an automated data-rich system should be considered with the most cost-effective perspective. In order to assist stakeholders in completing a thorough cost-benefit analysis, it will be necessary to consider the cost of both the infrastructure and the associated requirements before a decision to move forward should occur. However, Taking all of this into consideration, and given that a number of these critical points still have yet to be resolved, IATA recommends that operational trials be considered as part of any business case analysis. IATA is ready to work towards building the next generation of ATM systems. Are you?